Sattam Chapter 1 from Canto 1 Text number 3 We are continuing this verse And Today's para will be that I will read The subject matter is so presented Through the lips of Srila Sukadeva Goswami Yeah Reading text again Reciting Nigama kalpo taror ghalitam phalam sukamukha damrata dhravya samyutam pibata bhagavatam rasamalayam muhuraho rasika bhuvi bhavaka. Translation O expert and thoughtful men, relish Srimad Bhagavatam, the mature fruit of the desire tree of Vedic literature. It emanated from the lips of Sri Shukadeva Goswami. Therefore, this fruit has become even more tasteful. Although its nectarian juice was already relishable for all, including liberated souls. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Purport the subject matter is so presented through the lips of Srila Sukadeva Goswami that any sincere listener the, that hears submissively can at once relish transcendental tastes which are distinct from the perverted tastes of the material world. The ripened fruit is not dropped all of a sudden from the highest planet of Krishna Loka. Rather, it has come down carefully through the chain of disciplic succession without chain or disturbance. Foolish people who are not in transcendental disciplic succession commit great blunders by trying to understand the highest transcendental rasa known as the rasa, rasa dance without following in the footsteps of Sukadev Goswami who presents this fruit very carefully by stages of transcendental realization. One should be intelligent enough to know the position of Srimad Bhagavatam by considering personalities like Sukadeva Goswami who deals with the subject so carefully. This process of disciplic succession of the Bhagavata school suggests that in future also Srimad Bhagavatam has to be understood from a person who is factually a representative of Srila Sukadeva Goswami. A professional man who makes a business out of reciting the Srimad Bhagavatam illegally is certainly not a representative of Sukadeva Goswami. Such a man's business is only to earn his livelihood. Therefore, one should refrain from hearing the lectures of such professional men. Such men usually go to the most confidential part of the literature without undergoing the gradual process of understanding this grave subject. They usually plunge into the subject matters of the rasa dance which is misunderstood by the foolish class of men. Some of them take this to be immoral while others try to cover it up by their own stupid interpretations. They have no desire to follow in the footsteps of Srila Sukadeva Goswami. Here the subject matter is presented by Sukadeva Goswami it is said. Srila Sukadeva Goswami is presenting Srimad Bhagavatam, Nigama Kalpataro Galitam Phalam. As the ripened fruit from a tree is so tastier than the rest of the fruits, the same Srimad Bhagavatam is the ripened fruit of the Vedas. Vedas is compared to the Kalpataro, and Srimad Bhagavatam is compared as ripened fruit, Sukamukad. That among the ripened fruits in the tree, which is Bitten by a parrot is even more tastier. So this Srimad Bhagavatam is more tasty because it is given by Sukadeva Goswami. He had given the subject matter, he has explained very carefully to Parikshit Maharaj. And that was heard by Suta Goswami. And Suta Goswami, Suta Goswami spoke to Naimisharanya Rishis. So from there it is coming down carefully. So, as, as you know, when a fruit is ripened to a tree, if it suddenly falls down, it may break, it may damage. But to take advantage of it more, we have to 
get down, get it down carefully. So in the parampara, we are getting this Srimad Bhagavatam message carefully. So as Srila Prabhupada has uh, given in this purpose that even in future, after Sutta Goswami is spoken to Naimishara and Narasis, even in future, this same tradition has to go. That who is representing a Sukadeva Goswami has to present Srimad Bhagavatam. We have to hear from such a representative, bona fide representative. Hearing from bona fide representative, what is the uh, effect? The effect is that we take to devotional service. So only by bhakti we can understand Krishna. Otherwise, Krishna is not known to a person who is a great literature, eat yogi, or a most famous king or someone. No. Bhakta Asimi, Krishna is saying to Arjuna, Oh Arjuna, you are my bhakta. So that's why I am giving this knowledge to you. So if we hear the Srimad Bhagavatam from a professional man, it's there. Because he don't know the subject matter. He just directly runs into the rasa dance, which is confidential part of the book, Srimad Bhagavatam. This he does because to attract these mundaners. These mundaners, they have this material, those who are... Uh, those who don't know this transcendental knowledge that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and His pastimes are none other than Him, not different from Him. They think that uh, this rasa dance or this confidential parts of the pastimes of Krishna as immoral. So when they think in this way, then there is no point of devotion in there. There is no dasabha, there is no servantor servant and master relationship. It doesn't come there. Then all of the concept of get, reading Srimad Bhagavatam to take to devotional service to serve Krishna is all lost. So that's why even in Srimad Bhagavatam in many places it is given that we have to hear Srimad Bhagavatam from bona fide authority who are representing Sukadeva Goswami. Sukadeva Goswami has explained Srimad Bhagavatam right from the beginning. Janma Dhyasya Yata. Those who have taken birth now, Yata, as human form of life, then they have to inquire about who is supreme. And he has explained Dhamna Parasta Satyam Param Dhimahi Umnamo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Everything was there. Who is supreme? Where does he stay? What is his pastimes? Everything was there in Srimad Bhagavatam. It's a complete. Srimad Bhagavatam is uh, appeared, Srimad Bhagavatam has appeared right after the departure of Krishna to his Dhamma, Krishna Sodama Pagate Dharma Gnana Adi Bisaha. So then, Srimad Bhagavatam has appeared. It doesn't mean that, okay, Srimad Bhagavatam just before Kali Yuga only it is there. No. Here we can see, Tene Brahma Hridaya Ada Kaviye. This Bhagavatam has spoken to Brahma from his heart. It was realized to Brahma. This was there. This is coming from Guru Sishya Parampara. Gradually it is coming down. See here it is explained. The ripened fruit is not dropped all of a sudden from the highest planet of Krishna Loka. Rather, it has come down carefully through the chain of disciplic succession without change or disturbance. So that people can take advantage of it to get the higher taste. That actual taste is that Krishna is the Rasa Visa. He is the all, all reservoir of pleasure. So, our real pleasure will be to serve Him. That will be the special case. So now, instead of being as a servant of Krishna and taking the role of being Krishna artificially will not make us special, will make us foolish. That is the nature of this conditioned world. That we are thinking, oh, I am this enjoyer, I am the enjoyer. So, but the actual thing is, this material world is temporary and is full of miseries, all troubles, all clashes. 
it is very difficult to cross this material world without devotion for Krishna. The Kulashekar Alvar is singing this bhajan in his uh, Mukunda Mala Stotra. Bhava Jaladi Maghadam Dustaram Nistareyam Katamaham Iti Cheto Masmagha Khata Ratvam Sarasija Drishi Deve Taraki Bhakti Rekha Narakabidi Nishanna Tara Ishyatya Vashyam Dear mind, do not bewilder yourself by anxiously thinking how I can how can I cross this fathomless and impossible ocean of material existence? There is one who can save you, devotion. If you if you offer her to the lotus eyed Lord, the killer of Narakasura, she will carry you across this ocean without fail. So by devotion we can cross this material ocean which is full of miseries, politics, kleshas, adhyatmic klesh, adibhauti klesh, all three kleshas, adhidhaivi klesh. So we are all getting fried up in this material kleshas. But what we are foolishly thinking that oh I am enjoying, I am so much enjoying this. I have so much Lakshmi or money, I have so much bank balance, I have so much big big buildings, bungalows, I have so many people who are working under me. These all coverings of Maya, Pratyakshakshma Sakti. So we are covered by Maya which is Krishna's energy, then how we can come out of this Maya is by Krishna's energy. By taking to Srimad Bhagavatam, Reading, reading Srimad Bhagavatam. Shunvata Swakata Krishna Punya Shavana Kritana Hridyanta Stabadroti Vidunoti Sutakshana. By reading Srimad Bhagavatam, whatever anardas or kleshas are there in the mind will be removed. Shunvata Swakata Krishna Punya Shavana Kritana. This is, brings Punya. Punya Shavana Kritana Hridyanta Stabadrani. Whatever abhadras in the heart because of our past karmas, karmic reactions, Vidunati Sudakshana is removed, is cut. When this past karmic activities, activities, reactions are removed from the from us, then, then we can take to Krishna consciousness. Then we'll become special that we can understand. Special means in this human form of life is the only special birth so we can take to Krishna consciousness. Even in the, even after getting this human form of life, we are just simply wasting it to get, oh, I want this graduation, I want this job, I want this person as my wife, this person as my husband, I want this much bank balance, I want this, I want this, I want this. This is all increasing to be to make ourselves happy, but that happiness never comes. Then where is the question of special? If everyone wants to be special, no one wants to be a low class person. But what is special? That we were meant to suffer and we are suffering, and then there is no special. Even we have got so much bank balance, so how we can cross the death? If I get so much bank balance or so many, so much big prestigious name, I am not going to die. I am going to die. So how, who can save me from death? So Srimad Bhagavatam is, uh, is the savior of the world. One should be intelligent enough to know the position of Srimad Bhagavatam by considering personalities like Sukade Goswami who deals with the subject so carefully. This process of disciplic succession of the Bhagavata school suggests that in the future also Srimad Bhagavatam has to be understood from a person who is factually a representative of Srila Sukade Goswami. Why here it is mentioned that we have to hear from a bona fide person like Sukade Goswami? Anyone? Because he will know it from him. Because, because he heard it from him. Yeah. And 
here we can understand from the Shastras that Mahabhagavata. Through Mahabhagavatas, we can understand the Shastras. Shrutayo Vibhinna. There are many literatures, many Shastras, many Vedic literatures, many uh, what is called statements, instructions. But we cannot understand them directly. We have to understand through Mahabhagavatas. Who are Mahabhagavatas? Who breed revolution in the whole world? We can understand who representing Sukadeva Goswami is Srila Prabhupada. He has given Srimad Bhagavatam Bhakti Vedanta purports. So by this purports and to the Bhagavatam, whoever reads this Srimad Bhagavatam relishes the taste and becomes devotee and serves the Lord submissively. And this Srimad Bhagavatam is so transcendental that even after liberation one relishes Srimad Bhagavatam, reading Srimad Bhagavatam. So that's why whoever is presenting Srila Prabhupada has to present Srimad Bhagavatam to everyone. By that, they will get the rasa which is pervert. Like, see, uh, actual rasa is the spiritual transcendental relationship with Krishna. So now we are in conditioned nature and our relations are perverted, thinking to the body. So those who are connected to my body or relatives or friends, those who are not in favor of pleasure to this body or my enemies. In this way, this conditioned nature is going on. But in fact, this Srimad Bhagavatam is transcendental literature that it gives pleasure to even the conditioned soul and even one who is liberated for him also. Pivabhata Bhagavatam Rasamalayam. Rasamalayam. It said Rasamalayam means it's full of juice which is relishable until liberation or even in liberated condition. Because in liberation condition means what? When we are in service of Krishna. So we are in direct contact to his service. So Srimad Bhagavatam is his past tense, nectarian past tense, how he is dealing with his devotees, Prahlad Maharaj, Dhruva Maharaj, Harikshit Maharaj, how they have, even Pandavas, so nice description in Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, the how Pandavas, even after keeping them in so much difficult conditions of so many tribulations in their life, they are still, their devotion to Krishna has increased more. This is, the, this is what devotees means. In whatever conditions of their life, they think, okay, let me increase my devotional service more to Krishna, let me surrender to Krishna more. The thing is that, okay, they may ask question, oh, if devotees, if you become devotees, then there won't be any tribulations? No. The point here we can explain clearly, he is here, Prabhupada is explaining that, these uh, problems of birth, death, old age, this is, are there, okay? These kleshas are there, adhyatmic, adhibhautik, adhidaivik, are there. This body is giving us so much trouble, these are there. Even for a devotee, the diseases are coming, okay. Even for karmis, the diseases are coming. Then what is the difference? Not affected. Yeah, he is not affected. But how? Why? Consciousness is changed. Yeah, consciousness is changed. Consciousness is... Is consciousness, devotee's consciousness is that I am servant of Krishna, that Krishna will save me. At a karmi, who is the savior for him? No. He thinks, oh, my relatives will save me. No, they themselves are in trouble. They are going to try. They themselves are diseases. My money will save me. Even if money is there, the disease is there. They can't cure disease by having so much money. One person foolishly asked, Doctor, I will give you millions of dollars, just give me some few minutes more of life. The doctor said, I can't give you, sir, sorry. 
So no one can give until the Mukunda, the deliverer of liberation, he only can save us. So that's why without bewildering by any of these clashes, oh my parents are not supporting, oh many people are saying, oh why you take to this sadhu base, you can have so much nice uh, blissful life, so called blissful life by having a job, by earning money, by having bank balance or having a wife, house, children. The actual fact is, there is suffering. Then one, something happened in my childhood. I just remember it always. When I am in sixth standard, the, my teacher used to say, when you pass this seventh board exam, then you are happy. So you will get in a good college, good school, then Everything is nice. Okay, I finished that seventh. Then comes the tenth. When you complete tenth board exam with good marks, then you will get a nice college and your life will be success. Okay, finished. So then came to inter. Now you have to get B.Tech. Very good professional, uh, what is that called? Deemed university. Then you will get nice life. After getting there, you have to get a job. That is the success of your education. So, okay, I got the job. Then after going there, you have to get a wife. Then to get a wife, I need a house. So then I need to work in a company, means I need to live in a city. I can't build a house. I have to take loan. Finished. House loan, vehicle loan, education loan, child education loan, insurance, everything finished. Class. Okay, let me die. After that, nothing. No, again, you have to get it, take birth. <laughs> again, suffering starts. And how we can come out of this situation? Until unless we take the boat of devotion to cross over this material ocean to Krishna, then how can we cross this? So that's why Srimad Bhagavatam was very carefully explained by the representatives of Sukadeva Goswami, so that the sincere listener can take what is Prabhupada saying here? So that any sincere listener that hears submissively can at once release transcendental tastes which are distinct, distinct from the perverted taste of the material world. By releasing this transcendental taste they take to devotional service without any bewilderment of this material world problems. So, someone, so that's why every day Nityam Bhagavata Seva means hearing and also distributing Srila Prabhupada book. Srila Prabhupada has got this order from his Guru that whatever money you have got, you distribute books. Then Srila Prabhupada also, he, whatever energy he had, whatever time he had, he completely utilized it for transcribing, tra un, uh, translating Srimad Bhagavatam into English. So that the whole world can take advantage of this transcendental literature to get the transcendental taste unto Lord Sri Krishna. And here one more thing he is proper stressing that a professional man who makes a livelihood, we should not read, hear from him. Why? Because he doesn't know one and he gives his stupid interpretations. Right? See, only here in this material world, how they are sustaining is to cheating others. So this professional man, in order to earn his livelihood, he cheats. But those who are coming in transcendental parampara system, they don't do that. They clearly describe or explain the Srimad Bhagavatam from the beginning, so that we can understand this subject matter very carefully. Otherwise, we just simply you take, oh, this is immoral. So whatever we are doing, 
okay whatever i am doing is devotional service or whatever politics we are doing is devotional service this kind of bogus ideas will flourish they just plunged into this uh, highest rasa trans rasa dance which they misunderstand because they don't have the base that krishna is the supreme personality of godhead i am his servant they don't have that understanding this professional reciters because why because they had not gone to their any guru also here it is told it has just it not just dropped it has come from parampara his sukadev goswami sukadev goswami is referring to vedavyas but i have got this knowledge from vedavyas and brahma he got it from krishna so in that way prabhupada is mentioning that in future also this knowledge has to go in this epic succession so that's why now the whole world is hankering for this knowledge shila prabhupad has mercifully is given his translations for the present scenario people to understand the subject matter carefully with his purpose so now our responsibility to read them every day and distribute whomever we meet then we can be happy hari krishna any questions regarding this You know, in the beginning you mentioned like uh, everyone wants to be a special person, no one wants to be a low class person. So is this an original feeling or is it just a perverted reflection? Like this special feeling, everyone wants to be someone special. Yeah, everyone wants to be special. That is because of this material conditioning. So, so that is the reason we have come here, to be special. But special means actually we are in Krishna's loka. so as a servant so as the thought come that why i can't be like krishna so then immediately we fell down in this material world in this material world everyone is in this idea that i am god i am the enjoyer so in this situation that i am thinking i am the enjoyer is nothing special that is foolishness There is no speciality in it. The special is dasa nagu vishesha nagu. By becoming servant of Krishna, then we become special. This material world is designed for suffering those who are thinking that I am the enjoyer. So to come out of that. foolish ignorance we to take to shrimad bhagavatam which is coming through bona fide authorities like shila propa sukadev goswami see by this shrimad bhagavatam purpose given by shila propa whole world you can see now whole world everywhere he had himself opened one or two temples now more than 600 temples all over the world millions of people become devotees they waking up early morning attending mangala aarti they chanting 16 rounds of japa hari krishna maha mantra they following four regulative principles they are leading a happy life in devotional service to krishna in order to cross this material world only krishna kyam apiyam to drink the names of krishna so all over the shrimad bhagavatam all the past times of krishna are there all his names are there all the glories of krishna are there so by drinking this nectar nectar pibata bhagavatam rasamalaya then we attain to lotus feet of krishna yeah. any other question so i have a question even after giving uh, even after giving good logic some people continue to hear from professional reciters and can't see any problem with that they say that they find their katha nice to hear how to definitively convince such individuals yeah here it is already told by hearing from professionals the reason what happens is that 
they will not understand the true nature of krishna they will think that it is immoral that is the nature of this material world that i enjoy i have to enjoy okay so in order to come out of the situation there is no other way until unless again and again reading shrimad bhagavatam from transcendental disciplic succession this is a gradual process so they has to read shrimad bhagavatam from pro. they has to stop it is like again i am in a diseased condition i have to come out of the disease then the process is to take the medicine until unless i start taking the medication then there is no effect the disease will continue somehow you tell them and give them book in their hand then they will understand by reading if they are not ready to take okay let them ask you ask them donation oh give to you me for temple donation anyhow you are spending so much money for your dead body decoration which is temporary no use you give money for krishna life krishna consciousness you spend some money for life you give something to krishna and return you get so that is shrimad bhagavatam you read it and then you will understand then you explain them this big this bhagavatam we made devotees all over the world as you are hearing from a professional man and you are not ready to accept shrimad bhagavatam and krishna is the supreme personality of godhead that even a foolish person is doing then what is the difference you hearing from a professional man and a normal man who is not at all bothered of hearing shrimad bhagavatam everyone wants to be special then why you are doing a nonsense thing which makes you no special you can be a foolish man everyone is sleeping in maya so you need to shake them they will give hundreds of reasons we have to give 101 reasons to take them. you have to take shrimad bhagavat any questions can the online question what is the actual meaning of ras leela we 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 read ras mala Okay, here in the purport, Prabhupada is explaining that this professional man goes directly into the Rasa dance. So, in Srimad Bhagavatam, Srimad Bhagavatam is, Bhagavatam means the past tense of the Lord and his devotees. So, Rasa dance is the past tense of the Lord with his most beloved devotees, Gopis. So, that is Rasa dance. but these professional people they directly go there without giving any understanding what what is devotion to krishna who is krishna who are the gopis they directly say these rasa dance as a loving affair between a boy and a girl which is immoral in this material world but krishna is transcendental to this material world so that's why here rasa dance matters related to this rasa dance are not to be heard by professional man in bhagavatam 10th canto it is explained that these gopis who are cowherd village girls in the same village of krishna so they have this desire to to make krishna as their husband and they did this vrata to get krishna as their husband see krishna is attracted to, to the whole world even the demigods wives of demigods are attracted to krishna and then what they are saying then who are we that we are in the same village of krishna and we are also naturally attracted to krishna to make to be as our husband okay so they desired that krishna be as their husband and krishna sanctioned them by this being present with them always in that night with the dance rasa dance 
so they have rejected the whole society means this gopis they have rejected their husbands children or the tradition of sri dharma to to satisfy krishna senses they are so exalted that chaitanya mahaprabhu is saying gopir bhakta padakam lo das dasanu das and desiring to become das dasan of das of gopis so they are so exalted devotees of krishna at the dead of dead end of night they have left everyone back even their children to go to krishna krishna is the enjoyer gopis are enjoyed by krishna so they want to serve krishna for krishna's enjoyment that is the topmost and the service so that's why this rasa dance is most confidential part of this shrimad bhagavatam so to understand it right from the beginning of the first canto the explanations are given by sukadev goswami and his bona fide representatives so that we can get the highest benefit of transcendental rasa and go back home back to god this is the way any other question hari krishna grandra shrimad bhagavatam ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai